Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today in this tutorial, we will learn the UI path if activity, if statement. Let's get started. First, I'll create a new sequence and write it as if demo. Click on create. All right. So in the first thing I am going to ask, I'm going to use a assign activity. not assign I'll use an input dialog box and I'm going to ask user certain question okay input dialog box now in input dialog box here you have the title so I can say in double quotes I have to type hi there hi customer for example and I'm going to ask a question what is the age of your child okay this is the question I'm going to ask. Now let's let's see this how the input dialog box appearing. Okay, so that way it will be very clear. Let me run this. So you can see the moment I write hi customer that has come on the top, and the next one, what is the age of your child? Is the question inside the body of the input dialog box. Okay, this is how you design it. Okay, now I have to write the next set of conditions right this is the label and here is the title the title is which, which is coming from the property panel okay the here also you can come and directly write it so once you write this there is something called output so I'm going to store this in a output variable let's say I'm going to hit on control K and type age okay that way the variable will get created come back to the variable panel and here I have to change that to an integer data type clear so now whatever age is being entered will store in age variable good now the next step I am going to use is a if statement okay because your sequence so there are two things in sequence I'll be using if statement and I'm going to show you what to use in workflow if you're using a workflow now I'm using a sequence sequence is nothing but one after the other the steps will follow first and second and third that way and workflow is something we can direct which way it has to go I am going to show that demo now here I am going to say age is less than 5 so this is the condition simple condition I am writing and here I am going to enter a message box so I will type message box drag it over here and I will say congratulations so if it is less than 5 the bus fare for your kid is free okay congratulations the bus fare your kid is free wonderful now I'm going to copy this and going to paste in the else statement if it is more than 5 year old uh, age then I'm going to say sorry the bus fare the bus fare for your child is not free okay so these are the two uh, message boxes that I want to show now let's run this and see how the if statement works inside UI path I'm going to save it I'm going to run this now okay what is the age of your child let's say I'm entering 16 then I click on ok sorry the bus fare for your child is not free let's test it again let me run it again and here I'm going to say let's say the age of my child is 2 click on ok congratulations the bus fare for your kid is free so this is how you design a if activity depending on the need all you need to learn is the conditions that you're supposed to write otherwise this is how the simple flow we will see the same activity using a workflow so again I'm going to click click on new click on flowchart and I'm going to say flowchart if demo let's say and I'm going to click on create okay the flowchart has created so the first thing I will do again I'll use the same input dialog box I'm going to copy it from my sequence I'm going to paste it here 
and I'm going to connect the arrow dot right so this is one way otherwise I'm going to show you the other way otherwise you can also right click and click on set as start node okay this is the option you can use even this will also do the same job it will connect all right now there is an exclamation mark now you need to think why the explanation mark has come now here you have declared age so you have to go back to variable and see if there is a variable called age no so I'm going to come here and type age and make it because I'm copying it from the sequence I have to recreate this variable integer 32 done now the error has gone the next thing I am going to use it instead of if when you are using a workflow right you'll be using something called decision flow decision okay so I am going to drag and drop it here and I'm going to connect that to my flow one so let me connect it okay done now here the condition would be again the same condition age because um, my age will be stored in this one age is less than 5 if age is less than 5 then again the message box would remain the same so I will copy it quickly and I am going to paste it over here done and then I am going to connect the true one to this one and the false one message box is this if age is get greater than 5 then this should come over here I'm going to paste it over here and I'm going to connect this okay done so everything is perfect let's run this okay now let's say I'm entering a age 17 I need to click on okay so it's saying sorry the bus fare for your child is not free let me run it again okay now let's say I am saying 2 I need to click on OK. Congratulations the bus fare for your kid is free. OK so this is how you design the entire workflow using a decision flow decision. You cannot use a if activity over here in a workflow you have to use a flow decision. And same thing for the sequence you have to use a if uh, activity. So that's about the video today. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel if this video is helpful. Please do subscribe. Thank you very much. Have a good day.